Hey, what's going on, family? Welcome to today's video where we're going to talk about real estate investing strategies. Real estate investing strategies that you can leverage today to start diversifying your portfolio or generating additional income. Um, you know, one of the top strategies for people who don't have a lot of money is wholesaling. You know, a lot of some of you may hear um, people start talking about being the middleman. That's all wholesaling is. They find the deals and they move the deals to investors and they're in the middle and that spread that they make in the middle is you know their assignment fee and so that's one way to get started with real estate investing you don't have a lot of money but you have time to go find deals network with people and then you can bring those deals to part you to other investors that you can partner with um i use that as a strategy where is that now you can get smarter on the renovation side of real estate investing or on the the lending side the financing side it just opens you up because you have the deal you have control to in order to work and partner with other entities and people in order to um, further your knowledge as you grow and build up capital over time as a wholesaler so wholesalers are definitely a great entry way to get into real estate investing um, on the single family side the bird strategy is a great way um, before we talk about the bursary, I'm going to talk about fixing flips first. So buying, you actually buying the deal, whether you find it yourself, you get it from a wholesaler, you get it off the MLS from a realtor, whatever it may be, but you're going to buy it with the intention of renovating it and then selling it for retail um, on the market. And so a lot of times you, you underwrite to 70% of the after repair value and, you know, minus your renovation costs and that's what you can pay for the property. And so that's one of the ways that a lot of people like to get started with flipping houses in order to generate income. You'll generate a little bit more usually than what the wholesaler is going to make, um, but it takes you longer to make your money. You may hold on the property for three months to six months waiting for, you know, after closing, you got to get permits, you got to get renovations done, you got to get inspections, then you got to put it on the market. And then depending on if they're um, a, a FHA or a VA loan or a conventional loan, you know, it may take additional 30 to 45 days to close. And so it, it takes a little bit longer to get your money, but usually you're going to make more money than the wholesaler on the fix and flip side. Um, and you do it and you get your you get your profit. And then hopefully you go buy a rental property with it or you go buy another deal with it where you're rolling your money over where you can eventually start buying assets the whole long term, which is where you make money in real estate investing is by holding for longer than a year, being able to take the advantage of the tax depreciation, um, and write-offs with the expenses and then being able to kind of hold on and generate passive income over time um, which leads into the birth strategy where instead of buying it and selling it on the market at retail now you're going to actually take the property you're going to renovate it you're going to rent it out and then you're going to refinance it and then you're going to repeat do this again and then that way you can pull most of your capital out of the deal you leave your equity there you cash flowing every month three four five hundred dollars a month and then you do it again and you just build up your real estate portfolio over time and you're always removing your cash out. So that's a great strategy for um, for, you know, fixing and flipping, but being able to build up a rental portfolio over time. You know, another great strategy is apartment building. So a lot of people, they naturally go from single families as they get their portfolio up and then now they move into apartments. An apartment is just buying multiple units at one time that you can rent out. Um, it's a little bit more sophisticated on the lending practices, you know, the net worth um, requirements for the loan, whoever's signing on the loan, and uh, the, some of the sophistication ways of how you can raise capital and be creative. But apartments are a great way to generate a large amount of passive income in a short amount of time. Um, it has great um, tax advantages as well, too. It's passive, and you can build up a lot of um, income over time that you don't have to work for. And so for me, time freedom is one of the biggest advantages of real estate investing, that passive income. Now, you don't have to work a job and trade your time in order to make money to pay your bills to live. And so that makes apartments really appealing. Um, and then the second part, the last um, strategy is uh, private lending. For those that wanna be passive, they don't wanna you know, find properties, talk to sellers, they don't wanna manage contractors on flips, they don't wanna have to be a landlord, but they wanna diversify their portfolio or they want to get higher returns. You know, right now we pay our private lenders in our community 10% return on their money. And uh, usually it's for a six month note that follows one of our projects. And then um, they get the return capital and then usually they'll come back and invest in another deal. And they don't have to worry about any of the, the work with managing the deal, um, the contractors, anything, and they just get their 10% return on their capital. Um, and they're completely passive, but they're diversified and all their money's not tied up in uh, real estate. 
I mean, not real estate, but in Wall Street now. And um, they can get some of those benefits of higher returns. So those are some of the different strategies that you can make money that's centered around real estate. You know, figure out which one works best for you and start executing and taking action today. Um, in order to be a wealth, I, there's a lot of more big content about kind of where we are with the economy right now. But it's a great opportunity to get in real estate. It's going to build a lot of um, investors, uh, wealthy investors are going to build up a lot of wealth over these next couple of years as we enter into this, um, you can call it recession or this new economic normal. I think what's going on right now. So definitely take heed to some of these strategies, figure out what works best for you and go make some equity happen. If you're interested in real estate coaching, definitely click the link below in the uh, description um, to get more information about my program. Or if you want to join our investor community, you can hit the link there as well, too, where you can sign up to see some of our deals where you, too, can get that 10% return on your capital um, as well. So and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video and sharing any comments that you have below.